Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Eye YouTube channel and it is time for my monthly show us your sheet load slash happy mail video. I hope you'll stick around and see what came in my P.O. box. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share with you what I got in my P.O. box for the month. This used to be a strictly show us your sheet load feature where subscribers would send in cards that they had made using the latest sheet load of cards. But then I started to get just a few cards just because. So I wanted to share those with you as well. If you ever want to send me a card, I do have my P.O. box in the description box below. And if you're interested in sending me a sheet load of cards card, I have a video called show us your sheet load, which I will also link in the description box. If you're on YouTube or Instagram, you can also show us your sheet load with a video or a post on Instagram. I will link below the cards from this month, September 2020, both here on YouTube and over on Instagram. So I hope that once you're done with my video here, you'll go check out some of those posts. Like the last couple months, I will take a still shot of what was in each envelope and tell you a little bit about it as you look at the picture. If I leave you with any questions, as always, you can leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's see what came in the mail. Anita T of Canada sent in the first two packages that I'll be sharing this month. In the first envelope, she shared four cards using the August 2020 sheet load of cards. The first three were just gorgeous. I am loving those images. And then this last one, she has done the card landscape instead of portrait for a fun twist. In her second envelope, she shared three cards with me. Two of them were based upon the September 2020 sheet load of cards, which was a special slimline edition. I am loving that Christmas one. And then in the top right, she took inspiration from a card or a set of cards that I did for Arteza week. If you remember, I made a set of four watercolor cards where once I did the watercoloring, I made a curvy slit in there and then I had some gold foiled paper peeking out of that opening. You'll see here that she has a split in her image with some gold cardstock peeking out as well. Thank you, Anita. I love these. Yvonne K. of Wisconsin sent in this slimline card, once again based upon the September 2020 sheet load of cards. I love the autumn theme and also that burlap kind of ribbon in the middle is perfect for the occasion. Thanks so much! Chelsea C. of Colorado, I believe, because I accidentally got rid of the envelope, sent in this card and package of Stampin' Up! rhinestones. She is actually my Stampin' Up! demonstrator, who I order my paper pumpkin through. And last month, I used her monthly hostess code to order, I think it's called the Pick a Banner Punch, where it has the fishtail ends for the different sizes. And she sent me these as a little thank you for placing an order. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you're looking for one, I will link Chelsea's site in the description box below. This next card is from my mom, Gloria, from Iowa. Many months I have a card that I share that she sent me. Um, she's super good about sending cards for any occasion. This one was as a thank you for ordering something off Amazon for her. I like to share my Amazon Prime and she likes to get a good deal. I believe this technique for the card was probably demonstrated by Gina K. One of the things she loves to do, and I used to watch it when I could, is watch Gina K on Monday and Wednesdays and she always has a great technique. Thank you, Mom. The next card I have to share is this adorable one from my friend Danny here in Nebraska. I absolutely love that focal image and then that patterned vellum in the background. 
Danny gave me this card as a thank you for getting some Color Street nails from her. She recently started selling them. If you want to try out Color Street nails, I will link her website below. Um, you might have noticed in my past maybe months videos I had on the sparkly blue nails and that was actually Color Street. That stuff lasted. It would have kept lasting if it wouldn't have been for like the growth. Um, for over three weeks before I finally took it off. So I would say give them a try. And again, I'll link her store below. Thanks so much, Danny. These three cards had a long journey. Melanie B from Australia sent these in. On the left is the October 2019 sheet load of cards, which had a fun fold. And then we move on to April and June of 2020. She says these are her favorite issues. Now, Melanie is an OG lover of sheet load. I know that I've mentioned before, but it was probably 10 years ago when sheet load was an e-zine or just like an electronic file that I sent out. And she said she has been a fan since then. Thank you so much, Melanie, for taking the time to send these in and being a fan for so long. This next card came from Sue S. of South Carolina, and she has based her card upon the August 2020 sheet load of cards. That was a special 6x6 paper edition, and I just love how she has replaced the sentiment rectangle with that die cut. Also, the pictures on screen are not doing this card justice. There is so much sparkle and shine. That die cut strip down the center is actually all glittery, and in the paper itself, there are metallic accents. Thank you so much, Sue, for sending this card in. Jennifer D. of California sent in the next four cards. If you've been watching lately, you know that she has been sending in lots of cards trying to get caught up. For the cute little Halloween mouse, she used April 2020. The two in the center are from May 2020. And then over on the right, she has used the June 2020 sheet load of cards. I love the details on all of these. Thanks so much, Jennifer, for sending these in. Linda of Maryland sent in two cards this month. The first one on the left, she used the August 2020 sheet load of cards, but instead of making it the standard A2 that the sheet load calls for, she sized it to be more of a five by seven. I love that fun shape that the sentiment is on and the gold accents. On the right, she used a September 2020 sheet load of cards to make this magical slimline card. Thank you, Linda. Stephanie B. of Florida sent in this fun birthday slimline card. I am loving the yellow and blue on this. She has written me a note and she said that this is the first time that she has printed the sheet load and used it. I am so excited and so happy, Stephanie, that you decided to give sheet load a try. And thanks for taking the time to send a card in. Christina M. of Illinois sent in this next card. Once again, it uses a September 2020 sheet load of cards. I am loving the rich colors on this and that large candle at the bottom of the card. Thank you so much for sending this in. Deneen C. of California sent in this totally awesome card. She is part of my sheet load team. And I have to say that just by the pictures, I thought her card was, well, totally awesome. But in person, it is even better. I am absolutely loving this. Thank you so much, Deneen, for sending a card in. Judy K. of Missouri sent in this beautiful craft slimline card. One thing that I really love that she did, and I'll be zooming in on it here, is at the bottom of the matte strip, that darker brown, instead of using a pattern paper, she has embossed it with some texture and then added those colored flowers. I love that. Thank you so much for sending this in, Judy. Colleen W. of Nevada sent in this next card. Once again, she has used a September 2020 sheet load of cards, and this time she created a fall slimline card. I am loving all of the leaves. That is my favorite when I got married over 20 years ago. Leaves were kind of the theme of my invitations and the decorations at the wedding. 
I am just loving that adorable little gingham bow at the bottom too. Thank you so much, Colleen, for sending in a card. Naomi H. of Minnesota has once again sent in a beautiful patriotic card. If you've been watching these for very long, you're going to recognize Naomi's cards. I love how the individual pieces themselves are bordered with gold embossing powder and then the little gold twine around the center. Thanks so much, Naomi, for sending in this lovely card. Karen H. from Hawaii sent in these next two cards. The one on the right, she wrote me a little note in saying that her and her kids were super excited last month when she saw one of her cards featured here on my end of the month video. I'm so happy, Karen, that you all enjoyed that. On the left is the card she made using the September 2020 sheet load of cards. I am loving that little girl die cut sticker. Please tell me where you got that. And then that buffalo print in the background. Thanks again, Karen, for sending in a card. And next up, we have another Karen, but this time it's Karen C. from Virginia. And she has sent in three cards using the September 2020 sheet load of cards. Um, you really can't tell from on screen, but the Halloween one in the middle, those eyeballs are dimensional and they look so awesome in person. And then over on the right, she has gifted me with some tags that she said I could either use on cards or maybe even on packages. I'm definitely going to put these into my gift wrap box, Karen. Thank you so much for sending these in. And finally, the last two packages are from Teresa R. in Florida. This first card was accompanying my Welcome to the Design Team package. She is the owner of Scrapping for Less. I am loving this adorable little ladybug card. And not only did she send me that, but last month she asked what my favorite season was and I told her fall because I love the cooler weather and sweaters and leaves as we discussed earlier. And she sent me a package chock full of fall and autumn themed goodies. Um, on the left there is a pocket letter. I'm not sure if you're familiar with those, but each pocket is decorated and she has envelopes in there with some fun fall ephemera and goodies. Now, if you've been around my channel since the very beginning, that is actually how I got started here on YouTube because I got down the rabbit hole of watching pocket letter videos and I ended up creating them and those were my first few videos. So that was fun to have a throwback to that time. She also wrote me a lovely note and there was that thankful wooden decor piece and some just other ephemera fall theme that didn't fit in the pocket letter. Teresa, thank you so much for all of these goodies and I am loving being on your team. And as a complete side note, don't forget that I'm actually up today over on the Scrapping for Less YouTube channel, and I will be sharing my project that I had you help me decide what products I was going to use. So I will link that video in the description box below so you can go check it out. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the lovely creations that my subscribers made and sent in. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Now don't forget to go visit those YouTube videos and Instagram posts where they shared with you their September sheetload of cards. Until my next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye.